Listen up, partners. This is Good, Bad, Ugly on World Improv Network. Good evening, everyone. I am Alex. I'm David. I'm Danny. And we're your astute wind counselors. Get you through the week with any daily grind issues you might be experiencing or any problems that you want us to resolve for you whatsoever. Let's get to our first winner. Our first winner is Keith from Hutchinson, Kansas. And he writes, Dear Wynn, I love all kinds of music. But what kind of music do you think is best in the world and why? Wow, that's putting the gauntlet down. Huh. What do you think, Dave? What's your what do you think's the best? Not what you like the best per se, but what is the yeah, absolute best? Keith, what a great question from Hutchinson. So what's the best music uh, to heal the world and why? Hmm. Synthesized music. Ah, actual F kind of stuff like dun 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 um, dun 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 David Arkenstone. Have you ever heard of David Arkenstone? What is it? Can you play me like a little riff? Yeah, let me get on my keyboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just like like healing music. Okay. Like it's electronic. Can't be any more vague. <laughs> what do you do? Like you put it's, it like it. It sounds. It sounds like stars. Like stars, if they were actually stars, sitting in your room. If a star could talk with other stars and make music, yeah. that's what it sounds mm -hmm. like. Just like that, huh? Yeah, like if you could picture stars making music around the entire universe. <laughs> like the Carl's Jr. star. The happy star bouncing around. Well, that, yeah, well, yeah, plus more stars. <laughs> like Pluto and Saturn, planet stars. Okay. <laughs> All right. The electronic healing synthesized yeah. star music. What do you think, Danny? Um, you know, I think that, that music nowadays, uh, if it has lyrics, uh, it's biased. You know, it's, it doesn't matter. It's by, it says something, it's saying something about something, right. which means it's an opinion. Okay. So I think the best music out there is classical, you know, like mm. Bach, no. uh, maybe some Van, uh, that's not, I'm Beethoven. Not <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, Beethoven, um, Amadeus, you know. And specifically that song. I just felt I, I had a stomach ache. It's better. You know, exactly. <laughs> and there's a reason why it's, they're classics. Because mm -hmm. they, they just work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They continue to work. They do. Gosh, the classics. Now, that's tough to be. You're talking about electronic synthesized star music that comes from like the heavens and it's divine and heals you. To the classics like Beethoven and Bach, which are, you know, going to be around for another 200 years as long as we don't kill ourselves. I'm going to have to say death metal. Hmm. You know, you know why? Because it's honest. We're all dying one day, no matter uh -oh. what. Mm. So that's the best. No matter world. what. No matter what, we're all gonna die. Don't be so, meddling. So Keith, fire up that death metal, and if you think about biting off a pigeon's head, go talk to Mike Tyson and Peta. Yeah. But it's okay. Oh. <laughs> all right, Emily from Denver, Colorado writes: Dear Win, where did all the locals go? Huh, I wonder what she means by mm. that. Where did all the locals go? Huh. Well, a lot of them were at the 420 rally. Not a couple days ago. In and non-locals. Yeah, a ton of non-locals. And they left a nice, huge pile of trash there, mm -hmm. which, of course, we heard about in the Wind World Local mm -hmm. News. I was yeah, watching yeah. that. Hyper Heidi, the sports reporter, she was just, like, rolling around in this waddling trash yeah. and eating so many brownies that she's, she decided to abandon her children back home. Mm -hmm. That's that's uh, what drugs do to you, you yep. know? I mean, it's for the celebration of pot, and then someone throws out some LSD or something, right. and then... And then the meaning of 420 is lost. And all know? of a sudden, everybody yeah. comes from out of state, and now they're locals. Maybe Absolutely. that's what she means. Oh, yeah, right? Yeah. He's dirtified 420. That's right. That's where all the locals mm -hmm. went. Yeah. They're probably just really high and lost uh -huh. by the Capitol building. I think they went to Aspen. <laughs> That's a long walk from, from Denver. Locals you know? can't afford to <laughs> that, stay in Aspen. <laughs> they can't go to Aspen. <laughs> you can camp in Aspen. Oh, yeah. I, outside sure. of Aspen. Actually, in Marble. So Marble is near Aspen. Okay. And you can camp there? You think the people in the town... You can't camp in Marble, but there's bears. You think the city of Aspen would love to have a 420 rally next year and have all I think they do. Can... It's just not, um, you know, advertised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, yeah. Along with other types of medications. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So maybe, well, maybe though she means the locals, like as in everyone on planet Earth, because we're local to this planet. Oh. So that's like all 7.6 billion of us or whatever we are oh. right now. Maybe that's where all the locals going. Like, are we going towards a different projection? Go of our to future? the light. To the light. Go or the in your light. case, we're going to healing because we're going to go to the stars. Or go to the darkness. Yeah. In my case, the death metal. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Well, well, maybe she meant like, where are all the natives? Oh. You talking about like native Indians or no, natives native to Native of Colorado. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like they're everywhere because I'm um, a native. Yeah, and I'm a native. Are you guys both natives? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Woo. Nice. Yeah, I never meet them because Nate. I am not. Jake's a native. Jake, oh, you, right. Jake's a native? Wow. We are a producer, so I'm the odd one out here. That is so yeah. rare. Mm -hmm. If you walk into wow. a bar no, and you not. meet four people, how many of those are going to be native? I bet you three of three, those Three right here. But this isn't a bar. True. Good we're, point. We're, we're a radio bump. station. <laughs> 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 good point. <laughs> All right. I stand corrected, Dave. I apologize <laughs> for insulting you. <laughs> Timothy from Worcester, England writes, Dear Wynn. What food do you most despise? Oh, mm. man, we're going to the opposite end here. Not just music. Now we're going to what do we hate the most Yeah. versus mm. what we love the most. What do you hate the most, Danny? Gosh, you know, I really, um, last year's 520 makeup of the 420 rally that got canceled, I got uh, maybe a little too messed up on some edibles um, and threw up a lot of Polish food. Um, <laughs> I ate a lot of these these this uh polish food and it came up the second time oh wow. and it, i will not eat polish food ever again i thought it was supposed to calm your stomach mm, did not do that <laughs> oh my God. it wow. made it was not fun i was vomiting all the way up 13th to the polka oh. were they playing the polka the polka puke <laughs> were, you, were, were you like crawling up 13th puking or were we walking well, up 13th? You know, walking. it's weed so i mean it wasn't like i was like stumbling around it was a very controlled like all right oh. we're gonna dip into this alley i'm gonna throw up a was couple times and we're gonna keep walking was it in slow motion um i kept throwing up into sewage like the drains <laughs> oh my god that's kind of yeah I, almost I, like fiji water uh -huh, almost like i was you were, know giving fiji more stuff to filter were pigeons like beaking into that yeah they were just sitting there come here mm -hmm. they were following me like come on mama mama Wow. I like to give as much as I can back. You know what? You kind. are a kind person. <laughs> yeah. And you were controlled about it. You weren't just frivolously giving. You were giving with purpose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I feel and like... you held nothing back. Nothing, nothing. Nothing stayed inside me. I gave everything <laughs> back to the environment. Sorry, nothing like bile. <laughs> giving bile to save the planet. That's what we do. Well, <laughs> sorry, our beloved Polacks all around the world. <laughs> Danny does not agree with your food. What do you think, Dave? My, you know, it's funny because uh, my least favorite food ever was Brussels sprouts growing up because my mom used oh, to set the buzzer. I hate them. Like we had Beat, beat yes. the Clock it used to be an old game show from like 300 years ago. But she would set the buzzer and I would gag down these Brussels sprouts, never threw them up. Oh, man, I hate them too. And I'll tell you what, though. I had some Brussels sprouts like six months ago in uh, like a balsamic vinegar that were cooked really well. Uh -huh. And I, I, I liked them. So I think I had a healing. You, you know, you and I both have had epiphanies. I hate it. That was my least favorite food Brussels growing sprouts. up. Brussels sprouts? Yes, because I was forced to eat them. They taste like just bitter pine tar. <laughs> but I've had some like in roasted garlic. and, and Yeah, also yeah, yeah. Like, and it's like, wow. They're it's different. Decent. It's all in the prep. Yeah. It's like a soybean. You know, whatever they're cooked in, if you let them soak enough, they taste of whatever yeah. they're cooked in. Like and my like, mom boiled them. Oh. So they were just oh, they were horrible. Yeah, my, my mom did too. Sorry, mom. They were horrible. And I know as you're listening oh. to, I hate Brussels sprouts. But I have to say, like Dave, I've turned over a new leaf. I'm starting to show some appreciation for them because I've mm. had three or four good experiences in the last year. And they're good for you. That's what I heard mm, too. Superfood. Vitamin K. So, but that's what you used to. So, do you no longer hate Brussels sprouts? Is there anything you do hate anymore? Or is um, that pretty much that was the one bastion of hatred you had? Well, to go with the theme, I actually uh, had some sushi with salmon that I got sick on. Uh huh. It was raw. And I ended up in the emergency room. So, I couldn't eat salmon for a while. Okay. And I will not eat raw sushi no. to this day. No dice. Huh? No. Sorry, our Japanese mm. friends out there. Sorry, cook no it. Sushi for you. Please, well done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I you know I love Australia. I just want to preface this with the fact that I love Australia. Uh -oh. The people down there are fantastic. It's a beautiful country. I, I can't wait to go back. But they are guilty of producing the worst thing on the planet. It's called Vegemite. Ooh. Oh, and I, if you've I've ever had Vegemite, yeah. it is like spreaded Fecal matter, I think it tastes that oh my bad. God. When have you, you eaten fecal matter? Do you know what it's made out of? What is it made out of? <laughs> it's like a brewer's yeast, like a fermented yeast spread. It's brown and you put it on bread and stuff. Yeah. It is absolutely god Anything awful. Anything fermented should just yeah. be yeah. alcohol. It's probably fermented Brussels sprouts <laughs> mixed up with what you puked out that, that Polish food last but week. But I, I think oh. you're supposed oh. to mix that with Nutella. No, oh. no, Vegemite. Vegemite is fantastic. Yeah, that just mix, mix anything. Mix Vegemite <laughs> and Nutella. And put a little red number 12 in it. Yeah, that'd be like bastardizing a nice Bordeaux wine with like some gin, you know, and then putting some Coke on top of it or something, mm, you know, yummy, like a really disgusting yummy. Kali Mocho or something. That's what I think. Sorry. So we offended the Australians, the Japanese and the Polish people, as well as all the Brussels sprout preparers, mothers out there. That's what we think, Timmy. And uh, yeah.
on to Jose from San Juan, Puerto Rico, and he writes, Dear Wynn, with the Zika virus predicted to spread uncontrollably this summer, any suggestions on what to do? Wow, okay. Well, I heard about that, too, that Puerto Rico is going to get hit hard and mm. it's going to come into southern Florida and the United States and stuff this summer. Big time. Crap. Any suggestion? Well, I know. I don't know. That, that might not help, Danny. Uh, any other suggestion? I would get one of those, like, little, those those clips, you know, like you can clip it onto your waist and it, like, creates a shelter around you, like a oh, three-foot radius. Like the thing you put on your dog's collar? Yeah. Like a mosquito I would, thing? Uh-huh. I would just wear that at all times. <laughs> That's a good idea. screw damn mosquitoes. Uh, yeah. None mosquitoes. of that business. Yes. Mm-mm. My least favorite animal on the planet. I want them yeah. to die. Oh. <laughs> they could go extinct. Uh-huh. I'd be pissed. Have you ever got, uh, back in the day, you know, when they used to get on your arm and you would like flex your muscle, they'd explode mm-hmm. when they get full of blood? <gasps> yep. Really? Yeah, I need but to try that sometime. you don't want to do that anymore. Oh. I, I'd get a cloak of invisibility. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> because mosquitoes, if they can't see you, they can't attack. That's a good point. I think point. it's smell. Isn't it heat that they're True, it is. To? It's heat and smell. But, Dave, <laughs> if they can't see you, they might get confused and then they're like, no, this can't be something because I don't <laughs> actually see it. Good. Right. I, I go with both of those. You know, a cloak I and think, also like a little dog collar. Yeah. You know, magic <laughs> confuses mosquitoes. <laughs> magic does? Yeah. Ooh. It's beyond their three brain cells. Yeah. I got a really crazy idea. Why don't we, if we can't beat them, let's join them. Why don't we just try to genetically modify ourselves to become mosquitoes? And get stingers? That too. Blood sucking. And we stingers. turn around and we attack them. And imagine a human sized mosquito, they would all run from us. Ooh. And we, we would never get the Zika virus, never get malaria, any of these other things. And on top of that, we could fly. We can live off blood. So now we could start to like, you know, cannibalize each other because we have like 7 what? billion people on the planet, Uh-oh. you know, and Zika would have no effect whatsoever at all. Wow. And we but, could migrate. Uh-huh. And we could migrate. Wow. I think you could just Thou- as likely make a vaccine so that when mosquitoes <laughs> bite us, they no. blow up and die. Oh, that's cool too. <laughs> and then we're like, I am fierce. So, so you actually have to take the vaccine and then you do what Dave says. You flex your arm yeah. and you yeah. watch them just blow up like, yeah. like a nuclear mushroom cloud off your arm. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty cool. But we could we could like get with the Chinese and they could be like uh, fireworks. Oh, so they'd be lights. Every on Chinese New Year's, we would just have all these mosquitoes attracted, like lights on your arm, and they're yep, and they're full of uh, like uh, neon colors that explode. Oh, that'd mm. be beautiful to see mosquitoes blowing up all around the world in neon colors. Well, you know what's even more beautiful? One more little piece of inspiration gets you the rest of the week, known as Horoscope Corner. Ooh. Love, fortune, status. Let us do your astrological chart. Horoscope Corner on World Improv Network. Hey, Virgo, guess what? It's your week here, and guess what? There's something you really need to stay away from, Virgos. So if you ever had a wedding cake, you know what they make those out of? So that little frosting that they put around the sides called rolled fondant, not marzipan. You need to look up the difference. You need to stay away from rolled fondant this week because that's poison to your spirit. Hey, and you know what? If you want good luck this week, go to a street corner, get out of your car, Put your hazard lights on and start singing the song of your choice, and you will have good luck all week long. Hey, join us for the World Improv Network on AM 1340, FM 104.7, on Facebook at World Improv Network, Twitter at World Improv Net, YouTube at World Improv Network, iTunes and Google Play Podcast at World Improv Network. And we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to Win on Mile High Sports Radio. Don't forget to be a winner and interact with the cast by sending your suggestions or questions for each show segment throughout the week by hitting them up on Facebook at World Improv Network, on Twitter at World Improv Net, or by calling into the Mile High Sports Radio studio line on Sundays before or during the show. See you next week.